And of course, we've got one big target now set by Theresa May, and that's to reduce recorded crime. Uh, the best way we've found to do this historically is not to record any. Uh, it, uh, what we need to do, of course, is, is improve the public's customer experience. We want them to say, well, you know, I would recommend the police again in an emergency. So, Alfie, thanks for coming to see us at policeoracle.com. How does the policing community react to your humour? The policing community, I think they've been very, very supportive about my humour. My organisation uh, has more or less left me alone, given me free reign, which I appreciate. When I first started the career break, which is almost three years now, uh, first time I went to Edinburgh, I, I emailed the, the media officer at Humberside Police and said, listen, the BBC want to interview me because I'm doing a show at Edinburgh. What's my brief? And they, they more or less said, well, you know, we trust you and uh, do what you like. So how's Humberside reacted to your career break? My, my force has reacted uh, very well to me <laughs> leaving. <laughs> they, uh, well, at the time, I mean, uh, as I said, they've been very supportive. And at the time, we had to save some quite a lot of money, 20% of the budget. And so it, it was a mutually sort of attractive proposition. I could do it going back in to, to pick up some stories, but there's so much happening with the police. So I'm fortunate that it's, it, the material keeps current because almost every week there'll be another pleb gate, there'll be another inquiry, there'll be, there'll be something else in the news about police in introducing fitness tests or, or some, something in the public eye. Well, they're not prisoners anymore. We, we have to call them clients or customers. Does it help the public understand policing? I genuinely feel it's a good form of community engagement. I think that there's a perception with the public that the police are a little bit secretive, uh, a little bit up themselves. And I think that for somebody who's, who's uh, you know, with a twinkle in, in their eye like myself and, and a self-deprecating, uh, I think it's nice for the public to see the more human side of the police. So I, I think it has a positive effect. I, I think a good example is the current Radio 4 show uh, called It's a Fair Cop, where I actually swear the live audience in as police officers. I, I set up a, a real life scenario that I've been involved with and turn the tables, really. And I ask them to make the sort of real-time decisions, given the information they've got. And it, I think that helps them appreciate the difficult work, because everybody criticises the police, or a lot of people do, after the event. But in that moment, when you've got to make that real-time decision, sometimes there's no right answer. So I think that, that helps people appreciate how tough the job is. So if, if somebody rings in and says, is that the police? I'm being stabbed. You know, don't say, what do you want me to do about it? empathise, say, uh, oh dear, that sounds very painful. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've no units available at the minute. They're all in politeness training. And in fact, a lot of people used to say to me, I couldn't do your job. And I used to say, that's because you're handcuffed. And who in policing inspires your humour? People like Tom Windsor, uh, Theresa May, those sort of people. I mean, when I saw Tom uh, in his tunic at the Police Memorial Day, looking like he did with his, with his little sort of milky bar kid spectacles. I realised that it's what a strong argument for, for direct entry, really, into the force. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And that's good because we need to get fitter as an organisation. And of course, Theresa May has now followed Tom Windsor recommendations and we've got fitness tests for cops. I mean, to be honest, when these first come, come in, I didn't like it. I, I thought I was discrimination, you know, against the fatties. I, I, was, I was tempted to, to go and complain direct to the chief officer, but his office is on the third floor and the stairs. I'm not as fit as I used to be. I, I've got body parts that, that, that chafe when I run, you know, they say that they aren't necessarily next to each other. And I think I realised I got a problem when I recently chased a, a shoplifter, an elderly shoplifter around Tesco's, and she lapped me. And finally, do you miss the job, Alfie? Yeah, I do miss sort of operational policing. Yes, I do. Uh, Stand-up is quite a lonely, lonely life, really. You spend a lot of time on the road, a lot of time in hotel rooms travelling about and obviously policing is is a team game so you've got that camaraderie really and that, that's one thing I miss really is that uh, camaraderie really I, I have a sort of a I sometimes dream that I'm back on shift and it, it's like a, a reoccurring dream but I I always wake up after exactly eight hours and, and that's because I know they're not prepared to pay the overtime. I always used to call people sir because of course I'd had my politeness training Great innovation in the police, the politeness training courses, uh, which were actually delivered by John Lewis staff. 
And the backstory to that is perfectly true. This uh, a senior officer in Greater Manchester Police went into a John Lewis store one day and realised that John Lewis staff actually treat their customers a lot nicer than the police treat their customers. Who knew? I mean, I'd respectfully suggest it's probably because the John Lewis customers aren't trying to stab them. And I know that there are some young people, you know, that can still afford uh, to join the police. And so I, I thought I'd finish off by giving them some, uh, passing on some, some fatherly advice that, that was given to me when I first joined. And that's be nice to people. You know, it's not your job to judge people. And also I pass on some motherly advice uh, that was given to me. And that is always take your stab vest off when you get to the nick or you won't feel the benefit when you go out.